It's your girl Demari, also known as Soul Style Beauty. Thank you guys so much for like your feedback on the last video. I felt like, you know, this is I'm headed in the right direction. Just one person, just almost, oh, almost. But other than that, I feel like these are the type of videos I want to do. So today is Saturday. It is 11:17, and I'm about to head to the city because first I want to kind of go thrifting. I haven't been thrifting in a while. Um, so I was like, that would be nice. And then I'm headed to a brunch event. And from there, my friend Bev, one of my close friends, she's turning 30. Um, so I just thought of an idea of like, let's just stay in the city, run out like a nice hotel, get a suite, and then maybe go to a lounge or whatever, girl chat, just do us for the night. Um, and yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm trying to pack some stuff, uh, get my life before I leave this apartment. But yeah, as far as like makeup and everything today, I was like, I want to do neutral glam. Like you guys know, well, I don't know if you guys know, but fun fact about me, maybe not so fun for everyone, but I do not have a TV. I don't have a TV. TV. I really don't keep up with pop culture, but this girl, Jordan Woods or whatever, I was like, I love her makeup. I love it. And it inspired me to create this makeup look today. So I was like, okay, fine. I just want neutral glam. I'm going to use lashes but no liner, which is unlike me because I love my... If you know me, I love eyeliner. So let me know if you want to see a tutorial on this look. Okay, so I finally got ready. Right now it is 11.47. I'm not coming back, like I said, to Brooklyn tonight. So I'm just hoping and praying that everything is in that bag. Um, but I'm trying to make it to the thrift store. It's 11.48 now. So I'll probably get to the thrift store like 12.30 something. And an event starts at... 145 so I'm gonna just chance it because I haven't been to the thrift store and it's by like my old stomping grounds FIT so it's always nice to go there because it just reminds me of like college days so I'm gonna go there and then yeah let's go so y'all I literally just got to the hotel like I'm sorry I didn't vlog the thrift shop and the brunch um but I'll in enter some clips from my phone or whatever but I'm going to show you guys the hotel. It is beautiful in the city. We are staying at the Concord Hotel. It's in Midtown. And I'm really not a huge fan of Midtown. Like, not really. But it's a really nice room. It's really cute. Very spacious. So, yeah, this is going to be our room for tonight. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's so spacious and lighting, like, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I'm going to find somewhere that I can, like, prop up the camera so I can tell you guys about this brunch. Let me see, let me see. I need some lighting. I feel like this is not a lot of lighting, especially that the sun is on now. Is the light? No. Where is the light? Oh, my gosh. Hmm. oh. <laughs> that is the lighting. Okay, great. <laughs> so, um, ooh, maybe I can put it up here. Right here. Yes. Okay, so that's your not by yourself. So, I definitely wanted everyone to come together just to really see. The brunch was super inspiring, like to me, listening to all those stories with the ladies and how they struggle with endometriosis. And it's just something that I honestly never even knew of before I went to this brunch, but it was beautiful. Like April Christina, if you don't follow her and you are 
um, diagnosed with endometriosis, I think it's really good to have a community and because I'm not diagnosed, like I can of course be there for you, pray with you, all that. But at the same time, I think it's so, um, so much more when you can like surround yourself with someone who has the same diagnosis. So like that brunch even, I was like, I'm not trying to mess up my makeup, you know, my wig was already pushed back. I thought I put the got to be, but clearly not. This wig, when I, by the time I got to this hotel, it was like back and I felt it. I knew I should have went to the bathroom, but I was like, nah, I don't feel like it. I'm in between two people. I don't feel like getting up. Girl, when I got here, I was like, oh my gosh, I was walking around like that. But transparency, it happens. But I've really been um, loving like the got to be free spray and putting that on like my closure just because it stays there. But I guess I didn't put enough or something like, I don't know. I just felt like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening to me right now. But like I said, the brunch was amazing. Let me show you guys what I got in the goodie bag, actually. Okay. So, this was the goodie bag. And inside it, we have a Eden Body Works hair tonic liquid vitamin. Um, so, transform dry, brittle, dull, lifeless hair. Ooh, I can actually put this on my hair right now just because I need some oil you know just a little bit it smells good yeah listen mm, it smells really good so we got that um also the revitalizing face toner balance and restore um, with hibiscus water and co k10 i never heard of this but it has non-gmo no parabens no sulfates it's vegan which is also cool we also got some hand cream this is shea and vitamin e also by eden body works um i'm always in need of hand cream so this is amazing uh, we also have some body wash Ooh, and it's coconut yes coconut and shea I love coconut. So this is the body wash to it. Then Slay Naturally. Hmm. I don't know what this is. I'll read it later. And then we have what is this? Okay. Face wipes. Well, mm. well, this is just wipes for like your intimate part. Great. <laughs> Um, and then private practice. I think these are things that I probably won't even use till I'm married, honestly. These are like lubricants and I'm not married. I, we don't have sex with my boyfriend right now. Um, just obeying God. So, I don't know. I'll probably end up throwing it out or giving it to someone who is married. So, yeah, that's what came into the goodie bag but it's just a really positive event i really like events like that just because we need more of that not just like makeup and glam but like let's get transparent um and talk about real life issues so i love um that april came out to my brunch um and i love to support people who of course support me as well so i definitely wanted to pay it forward um and just come from a genuine place to support her too so you're i'm about to lay down for a little bit i'm waiting for my phone to charge it is on six percent so and i'm waiting for melissa and bev to come so we'll see so bev got here and this is the birthday girl i'm about to do her hair and everything yes so <laughs> i'm done so yeah, we're about to do her hair. You have the comb? I do. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go get it. Mm -hmm. We have to find that got to be free spray. Oh shoot, Jose's calling me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I'm like I didn't vlog anything <laughs> so when we got to the hotel I honestly didn't bring a bag 
that can fit my camera. So this bag does not fit my camera at all. So I was just like, Dad, I can't even really bring my camera because I know I'm going to forget it or whatever if I don't have a bag for it. So last night was a journey. Oh my gosh, a lot of unexpected things. So we went to a lounge, which is more so to like socialize. It wasn't like dancing or anything. Um, but it had like a really nice view of the city, but it was too like old, like older crowd, like 40s and up for like what we were celebrating. So we was like, okay, let's go to Slate. So it has like, you know, giant like games and stuff. It's another place in the city. Um, but we were like, okay, great, let's go there. So we took a Uber to that place, but the line was like wrapped around the corner. And then from there we were like, okay, let's just go out to eat. So we went out to a place called Cafeteria in the city. So it's kind of like by FIT area, 20, no, it's on 17th Street. So it's a chill spot, um, but the service wasn't so good. So our night did not turn out as planned. Um, I'm actually about to warm up some food and live stream service just because I got home like 30 minutes before one and I would have never made it to the one service today so I'm about to live stream um, service just because I need me some Jesus and I'm definitely um, about to get back on um, my Book of John challenge that I'm doing with God Girls Brunch so that's probably what I'm going to spend my Saturday doing. So I'm about to warm up this food right now. Have some food, get to light in some, hopefully this shows. Get to light in some candles around the house just because with that daylight savings, yeah, I feel like I'm 100% just, I'm exhausted. Like I feel like it should now be like 10 o'clock and it's 12.42. <laughs> so I'm about to just warm up the food from last night, which is a burger and some fries, probably something I should not be eating. But you know how that goes. Yeah, that turns out good. Cause you know how all leftover food it doesn't really turn out that good, but we gonna see. I think I'm gonna end this here just because, of, like, after streaming service, I actually gotta go grocery shopping, um, and I didn't order like any handheld thing like for blogging or whatever. But I don't know. I'm still in like <laughs> the self care vlogs are like in my house, outside vlogging. I don't know if I really want to do that, but like. One thing I really wanted to end this vlog talking about is like church hurt and dealing with just humans, period. Because like I watched a video from an old pastor that used to preach at my church and like talking about how people say Christians are hypocrites or whatever. But at the end of the day, humans are very sinful. Humans are it's a lot you have to deal with even as being a believer it doesn't change anything um everybody is going through their own stuff everybody's going through their walk of life um so yeah this is just your reminder today to not put your hope in people so if you're going to a church and they're giving the word of god that is that is what's going to shape and mold your spiritual life and your discipline and just giving you the knowledge and the wisdom that you need to be better um, but don't go to church expecting people to be a certain way, you know? So oftentimes we go and it's like, oh my gosh, like people are supposed to be nice and we have this expectation, but it's like people fall short, short as well. And that should not be the reason why you should go to church. You know what I'm saying? I had a conversation with Bev last night and I was like, yo, we were talking about some things that were like just disappointing us, like within the church. Um, but I think that's a very important thing to always be reminded of because if you like that once the devil Starts to put in your mind about certain people and you should leave the church like whatever you're going to if you're going to leave a church Over people you're honestly gonna find the same thing the next time. I promise you that so it's like you have to be so First off like aware when the enemy is trying to isolate you from certain people not discernment, but like isolate you from like the church just because of like church hurt. That's like isolation. Like I said, you're going to find it 
at the next church so anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this i'm trying to get better with these videos i hope you guys have a happy sunday and i'll see you in my next video bye guys